Speaking of Kamala Harris, she is on a roll right now, and it looks like this role is unstoppable. Now, of course, any Democrat, any liberal leftist, whatever you label them, would tell you that, hold on a second, don't ever think anything is over. Don't ever say that we're going to win. Don't ever say anything positive because we live in negativity. We live in everything is going to go backwards on us and nothing's going to work out, even though that really technically has not played out hasn't played out at all. If you look at every election since 2016, pretty much everything has worked out for Democrats, everything. But there still is this internal thing of doesn't matter, you know, we're we're we still need to, you know, proceed with caution and we still definitely need to proceed with caution because there's still going to be people out there who are going to vote for Donald Trump and also too as time goes on, you just never know what's going to happen in these next couple months. What happens that could change everything like that? Because we saw already what has changed everything like that for Donald Trump and Joe Biden. I mean, it's literally Donald Trump was, he felt and MAGA felt that they were just walking to victory, walking to victory in November when Joe Biden was there. I mean, they literally were doing very little and they were just saying, we got this in the bag. We're going to kill this guy. And then, of course, he drops out and we know what's happening now. Now there is an excitement level that we haven't seen since Obama in 2008. And, you know, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls together are just this very fun very cool pairing so far. Everything, they just feel like when you are you watch these rallies, you see these two and they're up on the stage and they're talking. And when they introduce each other and they pass each other, they're excited. They're happy to be with each other. There was recently a, a nice little video that just came out. And this was Kamala Harris and Tim Wall sitting down talking about the time where she called him to tell him that he was going to be the vice president and something a little bit interesting happened, a little funny story, but um, this is them two interacting about that day. Dear Tim, maybe we wouldn't have to. I called you, Tim. <laughs> yes. You didn't answer, Tim. I know, I know. The, uh, <laughs> what happened? The most important call of my life, it popped up and we didn't recognize the uh, the caller ID and it went to, uh, it went to voicemail. Hi, this is Tim. I'm not able to answer. Hey Tim, it's Kamala. I really want to talk to you. <laughs> it is an amazing privilege. I'm excited. I just want to be part of the excitement that you're generating. Well, we're so, doing it together, buddy. It's fine. We're doing it together. Yeah, I mean, look, I, this is a ticket that you could be, you could feel good about. Right. I mean, it just it, there's nothing about these two where you go, I, I can't stand them. I mean, I'm not talking about the MAGA people. The MAGA people are going to hate them no matter what. But I'm just talking about if you're just a normal person that has, you know, a, an ability to look at things objectively. There's nothing to really not like about these two. And quite frankly, I'm all with Tim Walls. If I see a number that's coming across my phone that I don't recognize it. I ain't answering that shit either. So um, I'm kind of surprised he didn't have her number already, but maybe she made a phone call from a different phone. Who knows? But just, again, a nice little moment. And I don't see how this does not continue through November. I mean, they're going to have these big rallies. They're going to have this excitement. They're going to have everybody, like, excited to go out and vote. You're having a lot of people who are registering to vote. You have a lot of people out there that weren't going to vote and now they're going to. And there's two separate groups. One, they weren't going to vote because they didn't care. And now they see this sort of cool ticket that they feel like they could vote for. Or you had somebody who was gonna, that voted for either Trump or Biden before, and then they decided, I can't vote for either, either one of these guys, I'm sitting this one out. But now you're pulling those people back. There's been a huge shift in almost every demographic for Kamala Harris 
um, from what Donald Trump was leading against Joe Biden. So it is an exciting time. She also did get a really interesting endorsement. If you guys remember the former professional wrestler and former uh, governor of Minnesota, Jesse Ventura, he was also a Marine. He was on CNN and he had this to say about Kamala Harris. To be selfish. A few years ago, I got the opportunity to see the United States elect its first black president. I didn't think that could ever happen. And they even reelected him. Well, now I'm going to be selfish again. I've only got a few elections to go. I'm 73 years old now, so the window's closing. I want to be alive to see the first woman president of the United States of America and the first woman commander in chief. And we've got her right now. I, again, you know, any you can watch anything like this and, you know, it all depends on who's saying it. And you're, you can either give it credit or not credit. But what we're seeing now is you're seeing the older white male. If you saw that man walking down the street and you didn't know who he was, he wasn't the ex-professional wrestler. He wasn't the ex-governor. He was wearing his Marine hat. He was walking down the street and you had one guess to guess who he was voting for. You would win a million dollars. You'd guess one guess. Everybody would, almost everybody would guess Donald Trump. But you're seeing now a lot of older white males who are getting on the side of Kamala Harris. And don't you dare look in the camera or look at me and go, you're one of those older white males. I'm trying not to look older, but it's all, I, I'm trying my best. So, but anyway, I'm talking about the former Marine. I'm talking about a guy like Jesse Ventura, who you would not expect to uh, endorse Kamala Harris. And you're seeing more and more and more of that. You you were seeing, even when Joe Biden was running, you were starting to see the 65-year-old plus people starting to migrate more. To, oh, let's just put it this way. They were migrating away from Donald Trump because the people who were 65 and older for years they were told by Fox News, Sean Hannity, and all these guys, we are the party of the Constitution. We are the party of the military. We are the party of USA and US, you know, uh, patriotic pride. And a lot of these guys who are 65 plus are not stupid. So when they continue to hear Donald Trump disparage the military, when they continue to hear Donald Trump say things like that he wanted to get rid of the Constitution or parts of it or whatever he said, um, they take that pretty damn seriously. And they're like, well, wait a minute. This is not what I signed up for. I did vote for you a couple of times, but now you're talking real crazy shit. And this is not in my wheelhouse. This is absolutely not what I signed up for. And, uh, you know, this is not a game I play. So if I have to vote for somebody that I wouldn't normally vote for to get rid of this, uh, that's what I'm going to do. And we're seeing more and more of that. And you're also seeing it now that I, I think Kamala Harris seems to be transcending the race thing and the all this other stuff is that you do have people that want to see the first woman president, whether or not you think that she is the best fit and most qualified, that's up to you. You can make that decision yourself. But I, I truly believe that, um, you know, you see a lot of people that are just now getting excited for Kamala Harris. They're done with Donald Trump. They're done with the whining. They're done with the lies. They're done with the vitriol and all this crazy stuff. I mean, they're I, Donald Trump used to say some really nutty shit back in the day, but it was more effective because it was hitting on more things that got to the soul of these people that got in their brains. And but now it, he's going off about sharks and boats and Hannibal Lecter and all this crazy stuff that some people are even starting to say, I don't. I don't know what we're doing here because even his own supporters, they're all going on Fox news now. And they're saying, what, 
what is he doing? I mean, is he really trying to convince a lot of voters out there that Kamala Harris doesn't actually have these people in her crowd and that it's AI? I mean, he literally is trying to do that. He's trying to convince this professional prosecutor is not smart. That's your plan. Best of luck, man. You know, do your thing. And there are a lot of people saying, I hope he gets off this. I, you hope he gets off it. I, you'd be hoping for a very long time. At this point, there is no way Donald Trump changes anything of what he does. Nothing. 